So in the series of learning Python programming language, in the previous video we have seen for loop in Python, right? So next topic is for else. Yes, you heard it right. It's for else, not if else. You must have heard if else in other programming languages like if you have, uh, if you are from C, C++, Java background, then if else, but not for else and while else, right? But yeah, in Python we have a facility to use else, this else keyword with for loop as well as with while loop. Right now, what is this for else in Python? The working, the syntax, why we use this, when to use this, and all we'll be discussing in this video about for else with the help of program. Practically, I'll show you. Right, but see, the working is different from if else. Maybe you are thinking if else, the working of for else would be same as if else, and you know the working of if else maybe. Right, but no, 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 the working is totally different. See, what is if else? Simply, we write like if. Here we have if block here we have condition right then some statement then we have else and here also we have some statements right so either this or this block would be executed not both either this or this suppose i am taking like a is equal to 1 b is equal to 2 a simple example so i am taking like if a equal to equal to b right this thing then print a is A and B are same. Else we will print different. Like A and B are different, right? So the condition C, A is 1, B is 2. Is this condition true? No. So control will not go here. Control will go in else part and it will print different. If A is 1, B is 1. In this case, A is 1, B is 1. Both are same. Condition true. So control will enter here. and It will print A and B are same. So control will not enter here. So either this block or this block would be executed based on the condition, whether it's true or not, but not both the blocks, right? Right. If uh, something like this, uh, if uh, you're going to supermarket and your mom asks like buy mangoes and if mangoes are not available, then buy apples, right? First condition is you will see search if mangoes are available, you will buy mangoes. Otherwise, otherwise it is what else? Otherwise buy apple. Okay, so only one thing, either mangoes or apples, not both. But here, what, first of all, let's see the syntax, then I'll show you the working also. The syntax is simply, you know the working of uh, for loop that we have discussed in previous video, right? So here we have the for, any variable name in the sequence, sequences like list, tuple, set, or dictionary, or string, right? Then statement, one or more statements, then after this we will be using else without any indentation. It is at the same line with for. This these statements are indented, right? Else here also we will write some statements or statement or statements. This is else block, right? This is else block. This is for. Now this sorry. This else block would be executed. These statements would be executed only if, notice the difference, only if this for loop has completed successfully. I am focusing on this line. This, this else block would be executed, the statement of else block would be executed only if this for loop has completed successfully, successfully, not terminated like using break statement or if there is no, if there is an error, then also this else block would not be executed, right? Let's see. And I hope you know like for loop is more like an iterator in Python, not like we have some iterator method in other object oriented programming languages. So for loop is more like an iterator in this language, in Python language. So which is doing iteration, traversing a sequence. So sequence means we will take any list, string, dictionary or set or tuples, right? And these statements would be executed once for each item in that sequence, right? That is basically for loop in Python, right? Now we'll see one example. So I'm taking a list numbers is equal to this and the variable name I'm taking i in sequence name is now here we have numbers, right? And I'm just printing numbers, print i. That's it. 
and after that else and here I am writing. So what could be output of this program? Numbers, this is the list for i in numbers, you know the working of for loop, this, this would be first of all 2, then 3, then 5, then minus 1, then 0, then 53. i just a variable, first of all 2 would be assigned to this i, then 2 would be printed, then 3 would be assigned to this i, then 3 would be printed, same then 5, then minus 1, then 0, then 53 till the end of the list, right. After that it would print successfully completed. See I have told you this else statement would be executed only if this for loop has been completed successfully, right. It is not like that if for loop has completed successfully then else, else block would not be executed, right. Maybe you are comparing with this if else working, no that is not a case, right. But if somehow we break this for loop using break, we have a break keyword, right break continue pass the those we will be discussing in a separate video but let me just brief you if you want to break this loop anywhere suppose if uh, I am just printing i and if 0 sometimes if 0 is there if 0 is in the list then simply break and after that we will be using else and this. So, okay, and then it will print 2, 3, 5, minus 1 and then one time i would be, this i would be 0. So, it will print 0, but now it will check if i is equal to 0, is equal to, is equal to 0, the, yes, this condition is true, means break. Break means exit from for loop, exit from this for loop. Now, this for loop, we have forcefully terminated this for loop. This is not complete yet, right. This time, it will print only something like this. It will not print this line successfully completed. It will not hit this else block. Only this else block would be executed only and only if this loop has been terminated successfully with all the iterations successfully, right. I hope you got this, right. Means you can say uh, this else is a symbol of no break. If there is no break then this would be executed. So, symbol of like no break. The successfully we have completed for loop that is a symbol of this the else block right. So, let us see this with the help of an example. So, let us create a new file here and that would be we will be taking a name for underscore else dot py and let us take a list or we can say let us take tuples. We will be taking a tuple like tuple 1 and here tuple should be in these uh, round brackets. So, we will be taking some, some numbers like 2, 56, 34, 3, 5 and like minus 1 any number we can take and we simply print like for i in tuple 1 right. So, simplest example I am going to take just print these numbers and after that in else we will simply going to print loop has been successfully completed and we are in else block now ok let us run this and see what output you will get here 256 34 3 5 minus 1 would be printed and then this line also because this loop has been successfully completed. Only then this else part would be executed. If if I write something like this, if I break this loop successfully using break uh, keyword, we can uh, control state break is so you can say control statement here. We can control the working of loop. So I am just breaking the loop. If we find like if you find like i if i is equal to is equal to suppose five. If there is an element five here, then break. Let us run this. Okay, see now the output would be now it is 2, 56, 34, 3, then 1 by 1 all element would be assigned to this i, then 5 would be assigned. So, 5 would be printed, then this condition, this statement, if i is equal to is equal to 5, yes, condition is true. So, enter into here and here we find a break. Break means out of exit from the loop, forcefully exit from the loop. Here, you know, forcefully exiting. Uh, the control from the loop. 
Break means out of the loop means this time this else would not be executed because loop has not been successfully completed. Still some iterations are left, right? So this else block would not be executed this time. And without else, if you write any statement like print and uh, out of for else, simply. So yeah, this would be executed. Like 256, 34, 3, 5 would be printed. As soon as we find a 5, break, break means out of this loop. So obviously else would not be executed and this line would be executed out of for else. If no break, if no break, then also all the numbers would be printed first, then successfully completed loop, then else block would be executed then this statement also executed. So this else block just simply symbolize that no break. We haven't used any break in for loop. For loop has successfully completed that's it right. Suppose let's take another example if I take something like this. Uh, if we are finding a number is divisible by uh, 6 here equal to equal to 0. How to check? I hope you know. Then simply break at that time we will be using break there is a number that is divisible by 6 break right if no number suppose rather than here I am using this ok we cannot use this else here if else and here we simply print so we will be just doing comment we will be commenting out all these statements right now if a number is divisible by 6 then simply break or simply you can say print that number first and then break right let's not print any number here this is the program we have let's run this and see what output you will get see for every element it is saying there is no number divisible by 6 in this sequence 2 first time 2 not divisible by 6, then 56, not divisible by 6, 34, not divisible by 6, 3, 5 and minus 7, right. So there is no number divisible by 6, so we will not enter in this statement and every time else would be executed, but I don't want that for every item the cells would be executed, only one time the statement would be printed, right. So rather than here, rather than here, we can use for else rather than if else that would be better right so here we have for else and this line we will be using in this else there is no number divisible by 6 in the sequence let us run this and see only one time it would be printed now maybe you are thinking we have used break here and still this else block is executing so that is not true but what yeah we have used break here but this break has never been hit why so because see 2 i is 2 this condition not true so obviously we are not going to enter into this for loop so break statement would not be executed right would not be hit then for 56 also then 34 then 3 then 5 then minus 1 also this break statement is still untouched because control is not able to reach till this break statement because this condition is not true for any item this condition is you know not true so that is why this for loop has successfully completed its working that is why we will be in else part now and it will print there is no number divisible by 6 in the sequence I hope you have, now you go to what is basically for else and when to use this for else Right. There will be many situations uh, in future when we will be using this for else. So I hope you got what is for else, how to use for else and when to use for else in Python. Right. So now next video we will be seeing one coding exercise. So now it's in the next video till then bye bye. Take care.